folks. Of course, it is a Monday, uh, and because of the Women's March, we're doing a simulcast today with the Tom Jordan Morning Show. About to do that right now. Talking about, of course, uh, massive turnout all across the country, uh, as well as across the world. Uh, an estimated 500,000 folks in, in the National Mall. Ain't that something? Just dwarfed Donald Trump. Just dwarfed his presidency. All right, so here we go. We chat right now with Tom Sybil Arsenio Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting. D.C., Roland Martin, good morning. Tom, Sybil, Arsenio, what's happening? Yeah. Hey, bro. All right, then. <laughs> Glad to be here. Let me give a shout-out, Tom, to the black real estate brokers uh, in Houston. Spoke to them uh, on Saturday about the march towards economic freedom. Uh, and also, of course, uh, our brothers and sisters at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, says hello. Uh, they love the show there. And NC State, I'll be on y'all campus today bringing the funk. Y'all know I got something to say about Donald Trump. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> All right, Tom. Uh, oh, my God. Saturday. The hell would happen Friday. Saturday. <laughs> massive, massive turnout all across the globe as women descended with their pink hats uh, on various cities. D.C., 500,000. L.A., 750,000. Uh, major marches in New York, Atlanta, Houston. But, Tom, for all these people who talk about it was also blue states, blue, big blue cities, no. You had small places. You had St. Louis. You had, uh, you had had Lubbock, Texas. You had all of these cities all across the country where women were saying we're going to stand up for our rights. Overseas, marches in England, Italy, German, Germany, Paris. Also, I saw a uh, uh, parade. I uh, saw marches taking place in South Africa. Massive, massive wow. effort. And guess what, Tom? It was sisters who were at the lead of this march. Joining us right now is Janae Ingram, who was the head of logistics for the Women's March on Washington. Uh, of course, uh, she so. Uh, uh, Janae, first of all, huge congratulations. Thank you. We uh, are very excited and very happy with the turnout. We actually had more than 500,000 in D.C. We know that this was the second highest usage or ridership of, of Metro here. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I think we know what, com what comes before that. Um, which would be the other inauguration that actually had <laughs> the highest turnout. Um, so we are ex super excited and know that this is the beginning of a huge movement that will we will hold not just this president and this country accountable, but countries all across the globe. But this was also uh, the largest protest at one time in American history. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it's... It's amazing. Um, I think we all knew the potential was there, but truth be told, you had people who voted for Trump. We know this. We, we had people who voted for Trump who were there on Saturday. Um, and there's a whole lot that can be said about that. There, you know, for black women who we turned out, we know who we turned not, out for. Not black women voted 94% for Hillary Clinton. Yes. Um, and we know we had the betrayal of that 53%. You meaning white women? Meaning white women. Meaning that betrayal of white women. You can go ahead and say on a black show. Yes. Uh, uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> betrayal of white women, the 53% who turned out and voted for Donald Trump um, and yet still showed up for our march. Um, mm. You know, I think it speaks to the understanding that this is not someone who is going to represent women's rights. Now, why people cho chose to vote for him in a way that uh, speaks against their interests, I will never understand. Understand, but Mo Monique Presley, oh. uh, Tom, Monique Presley's attorney with it as well. You were there oh, with hey, Monique. You, Monique, you, hey, were, Tom. you were hey. there. You were there with your daughter. I was there with my daughter. She asked to go. I would have taken her anyway, but she wanted to go because she said, "You know, Mom, these people in this country are crazy. If the children had voted, that man would yes. never have been president. <laughs> what is wrong with us?" And I said, "I'm going to take you someplace where the people aren't crazy, so you can feel <laughs> the energy." That that this country still has, that our citizens still have some sense. Janae, y'all did something, Tom, that was critically important. I, I have said this for years. I can't stand these marches we have, and there's, you don't have data that you, where all these people are there, and you don't capture the data. Y'all yes. did that. Yes. So to explain, explain to people yes. what y'all so did. We, we had um, what, we were, what we were calling Operation Headcount. It was a survey that we sent out in advance of the march that allowed us to capture the numbers of people that were coming, how they were coming, where they were staying, when 
they were when they were planning to get to the march. Whether but they were, also our, have cell phone numbers. We also now y'all have, have cell emails. phone numbers. We 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 have a, a, a text alert that we've asked people to count after the fact as well to say were you there. We we've done a lot of uh, data research and and continue to do that. But yeah, we wanted to know to be able to say this is how many people we had, and and because I, we know National Park Service won't count. I got a question. You said that you had a lot of white women who voted for Donald Trump at the at the march. Yes. Okay, so they voted, but they have changed their minds now. It's I, I don't think uh, that they, they changed support their of, minds. They're, they're still in support of Donald Trump. They're still in support of Donald and they Trump. Came to, and, and they came enough. to the women's women's march against Donald Trump. Yes. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, that, that, that's what I that's what I said. I don't understand. I don't how, understand that. I don't think any of us understand. Um, I think they they are speaking against their own interests. But, but I money. met some who since November were appalled. We were marching with some women who really were in true remorse. They said they made an economic decision. They thought he was going to do things that were going to bring them money, but then when they watched after the election that th there was no change from that rhetoric and that he was actually going to turn <laughs> things back. You know, these are the people who didn't know the difference between the ACA and Obamacare. Right. There is none. Right. So there has been an awakening, I think, and I, we can be mad about it, but look, we need them now more than ever, so, so I'm glad they're on board. Absolutely. Where do you take this from here? Because that's the important thing. The, the massive numbers that you had on Saturday around the world, what is the the marching order from here on out because we have elections this year as well as the mid-year midterm elections well the the theme that we've come up with sort of at the end of the march is march on and it mm. is really about engaging locally engaging um, with your from your mayor your city council members your school board on up and and it's continuing that engagement throughout the next upcoming four years um, and really beyond because we know that this is this is a long game it's not a short game but we are really encouraging people to make sure that they take their activism and their accountability and hold their elected officials accountable at every turn we know that Donald Trump uh, was not president and so the rollback on on uh, the re reproductive rights that we're seeing across mm -hmm. the country is not something that he is leading although he, he is supportive of it so we need to encourage people to, to uh, engage and advocate for those issues with their state and local elected officials with their congressperson with the president and we hope that people do that and I've already gotten my first email 10 yes. actions in a hundred days because I registered yes. online and I did the text messaging so they asked for additional information they sent me an email now they're asking people to send postcards because postcards, yes. many of the members of Congress are blocking their office doors they're turning their phone lines off so send a postcard and take a screenshot of your postcard to your member and post it on your social media pages L let so. me say this uh, Tom we must shout out Tamika Mallory yes mm. Carmen Perez Linda Saul Yes. Janae Ingram is, who, is another person. Bob Land. Bob Land. Those yeah. were those were uh, the co-organizers of this. Uh, you had sisters. You had black, Latino. Uh, you had Muslim. You had white woman. You had leadership. Uh, and so for the people out there who are hating on this march, y'all got <laughs> egg on your face today. So Janae, congratulations. Thank Way you. to go. We look yes. forward Thank to this you. moment turning into movement. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Mo march okay. on. March on. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.